friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. It is time for another anti-haul. It's been a minute since I've done one of these and it is time. I have some things to talk about, some things that I think are absolutely horrible, things that are super unnecessary. And also I think a couple of things that I do find appealing, but I need to talk myself out of it because I definitely don't need it. As always, I initially got this video idea from Abby Williamson who got her video idea from Kimberly Clark. I'll have both of their channels down below. And guys, listen, this is just a way to be like over the top, a little extreme, a little extra about things that I'm not interested in. It's really not that deep. If you are super obsessed with any of the things I talked about today, I love that for you. I'm so glad they're just not for me and not everything is gonna be for everybody and I think that's what makes makeup fun. Everyone has their own opinion and I think that's great. Before we hop into the anti-haul, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my channel by the time this video goes up. It's part of my two looks video with the Glaminatrix Sugar and Spice palette. And as far as my accessories today go, this is just a basic choker. I don't know where it's from, but these earrings are Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and anti-haul some makeup. All right, let's do a little scooch. So I have room for some pictures on the screen. Go to my little saved folder on Instagram. I'm always saving things that I think are dumb. I have 10 things to talk about today. Um, wow, this one goes all the way back to May. It really has been a hot minute since I've done one of these anti-hauls, my goodness. So this was from the Summer Tom Ford collection. I'm positive Tom Ford has released other collections since this. Just to start with, I'm not a luxury makeup girly. It's not really my thing. Also, most luxury brands aren't cruelty-free, but I just wanted to talk about this one specifically because I just cannot wrap my mind around these prices. The highlighter is $95. The lip balm, not even lipstick, lip balm, which is gonna be sheer, uh, is $60. And then the eyeshadow quad is $90. And the perfume ranges between $295 to $180. That's also bonkers, but perfume is usually more expensive anyways. I don't spend that kind of money on perfume personally, but that one doesn't surprise me as much. But $90 for those little eyeshadows. It's just, oh, it's not great. There's two little quads. They're just so boring. Please don't spend $90 on this. I just, you can get great quality for way cheaper, especially in colors as basic as this. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, do, do people buy this brand other than the fact that it's just the name? Is it truly like the best makeup in the world? I have to know. Next up, Tarte. Oh, Tarte. They came out with the Big Ego palettes. This is big boring to me. <laughs> it's just a bunch of like muted dusty browns with like a touch of dusty shimmer purple and a touch of dusty shimmer blue, a couple pinky shades mixed in. This is just so dusty and boring to me. I, I don't love it. I don't love it at all. I think it's boring. It's just... <sighs> I just don't get it. For one, this could have been smaller and still given the same effect, but also like, I don't know. I'm just bored. Like this makes me want to yawn looking at it. Okay, this next one is just kind of funny to me, but I wanted to talk about it anyways. This is the collab between IGK, which is a hair brand with Chamberlain Coffee. I do love IGK, it's one of my favorite brands. I use it on myself, I use it in my salon. I love IGK, their dry shampoo is one of my go-to things. Um, and this is the dry shampoo. This is one of their dry shampoos, Direct Flight. I personally love First Class, it's like the super heavy duty one. But this is the Matcha dry shampoo. This is just funny to me because it's truly just like, we'll make collabs out of anything, won't we? <laughs> we don't need matcha dry shampoo. I just think it's funny. Like this one's really not that deep. If you bought this one or plan to get this one, great, because this is a good brand and it's a good dry shampoo, but I just think it's funny. So I wanted to talk about it and laugh about it. Like matcha dry shampoo, what is next? Next up, P. Louise. I feel like I can't not talk about P. Louise when I see a new palette getting like launched or teased. This is the World of Wonder palette. Um, apparently it was available in July, so maybe it's already launched if you're interested, but I love these colors. I love blues and purples. I think they're pretty. I just don't understand the bulky packaging. Why does it always have to be so bulky, so unnecessary? Like, I don't want my palette to be this thick and have like a pull-out drawer with more eyeshadows. That's just too much. Can I just have a, a basic palette? Like, just I, just, I just want it to open like a palette. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> I still haven't tried this brand yet. I don't know if I ever will, just because... To be honest, the shape of the palettes really puts me off. Um, it's just unnecessary. It's bulky, it's weird, not my favorites, but 
I would love to know if you picked this one up because the colors are pretty. I just hate the packaging. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this one. This one hurts my heart a little bit. This is the new Cosmic Crush collection from Too Faced. First of all, the shape of these pans I don't love. I don't love that they're mismatched. Um, but also, what about this is cosmic. This is so similar to that Tarte palette even. Just like basic browns with a pop of purple and a pop of dark blue. This is so not galactic, spacey, cosmic. I feel like this palette was done a disservice by calling it that because when you hear that name, you expect something more ethereal and exciting and colorful and vibrant, at least I do. And then you give us this. Too Faced, why? Why do you do this? Like, I just don't understand. Most of the eyeshadow palettes this brand has come out with have been like basic browns. So it's like, would it really kill you to not put basic browns in every palette? I don't know. I know I'm not the target consumer for this brand. It's definitely not meant for me. It's meant for people who enjoy browns with maybe the occasional pop of color who wander into Sephora and Ulta and see this palette and decide that they want to add it. It's not really for me, but I mostly just hate that they called it that name because it's so... It doesn't match. It doesn't match at all. Next up, the Barbie and NYX Cosmetics Collection. Um, this launched like back in June, so this is also a little bit older. Um, first things first, I love the Barbie movie. It's such a perfect movie. I loved it so much. I feel like I can't stop thinking about it and I want to go see it again. But this collection is so boring. It's giving kids makeup. It's just, it's not really Barbie. Other than the fact that the name Barbie is stamped across the front, like, the packaging and the little cartoony things, they don't really give Barbie to me. It just gives summer kids makeup. And the makeup itself just looks boring. Like, where's the vibrancy? There's that one bright pink eyeshadow in the palette, but other than that, it's all kind of subtle and brown, and that's not what Barbie is. So, I don't know. This collection was just very much a miss for me. This was just an opportunity to stamp the Barbie name on something and call it a day. Uh, this just doesn't really give it to me. You know? Okay, speaking of it's giving kids makeup, this is from She Glam Official. These are the vinyl pop color palettes. Uh, it's just, it looks like cheap kids makeup. It looks like something that would be in like a set, like the holiday kids section of a store where like a grandma could just buy a random gift set and give it to their grandkid without really knowing what their grandkid is interested in. That's what this is giving. Also, Maybe it's just the way these were photographed, but it looks like there's creams in the same palettes as powder, and I hate that. That's just asking for disaster. It just creates such a mess. The powder gets in the cream, the cream gets in the powder. It's just, it's a disaster. So on top of the fact that aesthetically, this just looks like cheap kids makeup, it's also just not practical for me and my lifestyle and my type of makeup choices. So yeah, I mean, the, the color stories themselves or whatever, like they aren't anything super exciting to me. The colorful one's cute enough, but there's also no depth in it. Um, but yeah, mostly it just looks like cheap kids makeup and I don't want it. Oh, this one. This one I got like angry about <laughs> when I first saw it. Oh, and it's Too Faced again. Too Faced. <sighs> you're, you're causing problems twice in the same video. Um, but this is the Pop-Tarts collab. So we have these strawberry mini shadow palette and the brown sugar cinnamon mini eyeshadow palette. The strawberry one is fine. That one doesn't make me mad. It's the brown sugar cinnamon one. I loved Pop-Tarts. I don't eat them really very much anymore. I just don't really think to buy them, but I loved brown sugar cinnamon Pop-Tarts and they were not this like orangey brown. They were like a cool toned, like toasted, lighter brown kind of situation, like very much on the cool tone side. Like they were not orange like this. I'm gonna pull up a Pop-Tart right now. That is not orange. That is like cool toned neutral brown. And listen, I know I'm like fighting for a different brown <laughs> as someone who rarely wears brown. Like I wear color most of the time, um, but it's just the wrong shade. Like it doesn't match. Like if you just showed this to me and said, what Pop-Tart does this represent? I wouldn't know what you were talking about because it doesn't look like brown sugar cinnamon. Um, I would guess like something, I don't even know what I would guess. I Maybe I just don't keep up with Pop-Tarts. Like maybe there's a flavor out nowadays that's very warm like this, but that does not look like brown sugar cinnamon. And it makes me mad. I know it's it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> but I just hate that the colors are wrong. 
It just doesn't make sense. I hate it. Strawberry one was cute though. I mean, not something I need, but at least it matched better in my opinion. Okay, this next one I had to include just because I was so tempted, but I did not need it. So I'm talking myself out of it and continuing to talk myself out of it. These promo photos though, make me want to dive in and live there though. These are the Hershey's collabs with Glamlight. There's a regular, just like chocolate Hershey's one, but specifically the one I wanna talk about is the cookies and cream one. This is one of my favorite candy bars of all time. It's always been one of my favorites. It is so yummy. I love the little cookie pieces. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And this collection just like, it looks mouthwatering. The details on the packaging are so cute, how it's in little like, candy bar wrapper looking packaging. I love seeing the little cookies and cream Hershey stuff everywhere. The colors are honestly not so bad either. Even though I'm not a big neutral person, I like this one. I do like cool tone neutrals if I'm gonna play with them and I like it kind of mixed with these pops of steely blue. I do think it's really aesthetically pleasing. The lip kit looks cute, something I would definitely wear. I just definitely do not need it. It's not like something that I had to have. I was very much tempted by the collab entity situation the packaging and i was like i need to take a step back i don't need this I forgot there was a highlighter in this too that looks really pretty as well um but yeah overall i do not need this i don't want to get tempted just because of cute packaging it's not something i have to have but it is something i very much enjoy looking at and this is the last one that i had saved this is the nyx butter gloss it's a new black shade in the shade licorice i have a couple issues with this and like i know this is completely just personal preference so this might totally be up your alley and i love that for you one I personally don't like wearing a gloss if it's more of like a darker color. Every so often I'll tap a clear gloss on a darker lip to give a glossy vibe, but for the most part, I'm not gonna buy like a pigmented darker gloss. It just gets goopy, it gets messy. Sometimes it's really streaky to apply. If I'm gonna wear a dark lip that's glossy, I'd rather just apply it as like a liquid lipstick or a regular lipstick first and then put gloss over top. But also, my other issue with this specific one is I don't know what the truth is because in the pictures, this looks very thick, full coverage, honestly a mess waiting to happen. But in the description on Trend Mood's page, it says it's a non-sticky, shiny gloss, sheer to medium coverage. Sheer to medium coverage. Is it full like the picture or is it sheer to medium coverage. Because my thing is, if it's sheer to medium coverage in a black, that's gonna look really bad. It's just gonna look like streaky gray on the lips. It's not gonna look quite right. It's gonna look like something went wrong. You're really gonna probably feel the need to pile it on to get more of an opaque vibe. And then it's gonna feel really goopy and nasty. Um, obviously I haven't tried it personally. I don't plan on picking this up because it's just not really my thing. If I want a shiny black lip for whatever reason, I'll just put on one of my favorite black liquid lipsticks and then tap some gloss over top. But I don't know, this one just seems like a disaster waiting to happen or it's gonna look really ugly. That's just what my soul is telling me. I would love to know if you picked this one up, what you think about it. I just don't feel like this is gonna be great. Let me just see if there's anything else I wanna talk about before I end this but I think we might be, be done for now. I mean, there's always pointless stuff that I'm not interested in, like random perfume launches, random luxury releases. Like I don't buy like most things that launch because I have so much makeup, but yeah, I think those are the standout ones that I wanted to talk about today. <laughs> I would love to hear what you're thinking though. Are there any things that have launched recently or are coming out soon that you're just not interested in? Is there anything that you're trying to talk yourself out of? I would love to hear your thoughts on the things I talked about today specifically. Are you obsessed with them? Do you have a complete opposite opinion as me? Are you feeling the same way I do about some of these? I would love to know what you're thinking. If you made it to the end of this video, leave some emojis that you really don't like to see for whatever reason. Maybe it just cringes you out. Maybe it's of a thing that you don't like. Just leave some emojis you don't like. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I'm Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you wanna see more of my videos, I'm posting most days here as well. And also feel free to join my channel memberships. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only get ready with me once a month. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.